What is up, Otaku Mike here, doing another video for you guys today, and today we're doing a manga haul, like I said earlier. Um, got some pretty cool stuff to show you guys this time. It's a little smaller than last haul, um, but I like what I got. Um, but if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. Subscribe down below, or that way, or that way. Throw a like, click that notification bell. And let's get into this. All right, so first, there's no life without no guns life. This is a fun series. Probably my favorite thing that Viz is putting out right now. Uh, if you don't know what no guns life is, it's a cyberpunk noir manga about a guy named Juzo who has a gun for a head and it's just awesome. He's a private investigator. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, highly recommend the manga. Have not watched the anime yet, so I don't know if the anime is any good. But go check out No Guns Life Volume 3. That came out, and I'm actually really excited to read it and get more of the story. So next, next we have Uzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out Volume 2. That is right. The premise is simple for this one. Uzaki-chan just wants to hang out with her senpai. That's it. You get short stories about Uzaki-chan wanting to hang out with her friend, and hijinks ensue, and plus, you get this cool 3D cover. I mean, come on, look at that. It's, it, it's 3D. Her boobies are 3D. I'm just saying, this is actually a pretty fun series. I highly recommend it if you want a good laugh. Uh, probably when I one of my favorite mangas of this year, actually. All right, so the next title that I have is Dungeon Builders, The Demon King's Labyrinth is in a Modern City. This is volume one, this is the manga version. This isn't the light novel. Um, this was a fun first read. I did a review on it on my channel earlier. It was fun, I'm interested to see where it goes. It's about a demon lord named Purcell who wants to build a a dungeon in this city and it's pretty cool he gets to fight other demon lords and they have like these cool dungeon battles um yeah but yeah uh volume one was actually pretty fun and i picked it up so next we have another one of my favorite titles from last year volume two just came out this one actually has a parental advisory warning on it the last one it didn't have a parental advisory warning on it, but this is Reborn as a Polar Bear. This has a long title. The Legend of How I Became a Forest Guardian. Concept is simple. Guy dies, gets reborn as a polar bear, and has to be the guardian of a forest. He protects these werewolf girls who are super cute and super adorable. Um... I haven't read this one yet, or read this volume yet, and it'll be interesting interesting to see where this goes from here, because I actually did like the setup for, for the first volume, and we'll have to see where Reborn as a Polar Bear goes. As, long, as well as we go with Reborn as a Polar Bear, which is an isekai, we have another isekai that I picked up this time, and that is the Idol Sponger Life. If you haven't checked this one out, this one's actually pretty cool. It's about a guy who goes to a kingdom, willingly, might I add, um, to basically father an heir to the throne. It's really interesting. I like the dynamic of the two main characters, uh, the queen and our sponger, as I guess you could call him. Um, but yeah, it was. it's a lot of fun. He actually has a child, which is really interesting. Spoilers. Um, but yeah, this one's a lot of fun, and I'm interested interested to see where this goes. Um, I actually like the covers for this because you always get a nice, strong female character on the front of the covers. I did a review on this couple, like last year, I think it was. But yeah, fun, fun book. Now, last but not least, we have our last two titles. First, we have Monster Wrestling. It's called Monster Wrestling Interspecies Combat Girls. To be exact, that's the main title, but I call it Monster Wrestling. 
I can't get Ultimate Muscle because it's too expensive, so I go with this next best thing, which is Monster Wrestling. If you don't like Monster Girls, it's not for you, really. But if you like wrestling, it might be for you. Um, it'll be interesting. A lot of the first volume was a lot of setup for what's to come. Um, and I actually can't wait to see our Cerberus character, who's right there on the cover, have her first match, finally. Well, her first official match. Which, it'll be interesting. And then, next, we have, finally, out of hiatus, it's been months since we got a volume of this series. That is, one of, well, what's the series that got me into manga, actually? Or got me into collecting manga, I guess you could say. That is, Monster Musume. Volume 15, that is right, the Monster Girls are back again. It's been a long time, I missed you guys, just saying. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun, Monster Moose May. Don't know what it is? It's a world where monster girls exist, and this guy has to help them adjust to human life and human culture, and he has to pick one of them to marry eventually. But yeah, that's, that's it for my manga haul. It's not... Uh, that big I just got a couple titles um but yeah thanks for watching guys i'll catch you guys later peace out comment down below do you want to get any get any of these titles or not well see ya